Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. So Todd, what's the best time of the year to replace siding on a home? Really, the best time to replace your siding is when you need new siding. <laughs> All right. It doesn't really matter the time of year. It could be spring, summer, winter, fall. Right now we're here in the middle of the winter. We're in um, Franklin. Okay. And it's snow on the ground. It's cold outside, but we're rolling. Right. Absolutely. So that's not a problem. Okay. All right. Well, on, on this house, uh, you know, one of the reasons that this homeowner actually decided to take a look at replacing their siding is that they saw that the uh, paint was starting to peel and the wood was beginning to rot. When you get to uh, paint that's in this kind of condition, one really has to ask yourself, is it worth putting the time and effort and money into trying to paint wood, or is it uh, just better to go ahead and, and take it off the home and start fresh with siding? Todd, tell us a little bit about in the application process and, and how, we, how we finish this with siding over well, here. Well, you know, even before that, I'd just like to add to that in, in that what happens is it's very difficult to paint wood like this because it's it's actually waterlogged. I mean, it's it's wet, and it won't dry out. I mean, it would uh, every time it rains, this is 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 getting saturated uh, with water, so it's not going to hold paint any longer. So you can paint and paint and paint until the cows come home, and it just unfortunately it's just not going to stick any longer. This this siding in this condition and this waterlogged condition. This really needs to come off. Now, what we're going to do is when we take this off, we're going to actually remove the wood because it's waterlogged. We don't want to leave any wet wood on the house. We also want to see what's behind the siding. Right, Todd? Yeah, you know, Todd, when you have an old siding like this that was built back in the 80s, we have no idea what kind of construction materials were used. We don't know if there's any insulation behind there. We don't know if the uh, rotted siding has gotten back to any of the framing behind there. So we absolutely need to take the siding off on the, on the outside. And what we're gonna do then is once we determine that the back wall behind this is, is in decent condition, we're gonna go ahead and put a, a, a Tyvek house wrap over the top. The Tyvek house wrap is designed to stop air infiltration from going through as well, as well as water penetration, but still allow the house to breathe from the inside out. And then after we put the Tyvek house wrap on, we're gonna tape all of the seams tape around the edges of the windows where it meets and then begin the siding process. What we do is we put a siding on that has an insulated back behind the siding. Uh, it's a vinyl siding with an insulation board behind it and we really like to use that because if it's hollow vinyl siding it's not impact resistant. Very easy to crack when it's cold out. It's uh, you know hailstorms and, and things like that can do damage to that siding. And uh, if you don't put any insulation behind it, you're not increasing the efficiency of the wall. So the siding that we have is going to have an insulation board designed to give it impact resistance as well as uh, give the wall some insulation value. Todd? Well, I think, why don't we go around to the other side of the house where we've actually done some work okay. where we can take a look at uh, the finished product. That sounds good. Okay. So you can see, Todd, that our guys are set up here. It's, a, it's in the middle of the winter. That's not a problem. We're installing year-round, and they're just about finished with this job that we did here in Franklin. It's really looking nice. Oh, absolutely. In fact, on the other side of the house, Todd, we were talking about the impact resistance that you get when you have a, a foam backer behind the vinyl. As an example, even the middle of winter time when it's fr freezing outside, hitting the siding, we don't have to worry about cracking or destroying it. That's one of the nice features that you get with that siding, Todd. Well, the other, the other advantage, obviously, is that today she's saving energy. Yeah, right. You know, this couple, you know, right away, we put energy efficient windows in, we put energy efficient siding in. Today, on one of the cold days of the year, they're using less energy and, that, and that's good for them. Oh, absolutely. So when's, when's the best time to, to start saving energy? Or when's the best time to have your house looking like this? You know, I'd say today. I, I would agree. <laughs> right, Todd. <laughs> so if, if you find yourself uh, with a house that has paint damage or the wood seems to be rotting, maybe your house is just drafty or cold in the winter time and, and you want to make it more efficient. There's a lot of reasons to replace siding. Don't let the cold stop you. If you're looking for additional information or would like to talk to an expert, just fill out the form here on the, on the website or give us a call today.